What's up guys, it's Steven Nader from Achievement Hunter Community, and I'm going to give you a little guide on how to get the Awakening Achievement in Skyrim's new DLC, which came out yesterday, or today, whichever one, this day was uploaded, Dawnguard, 600 Microsoft points, really fun, definitely you should buy it, it's 20 bucks if you, you know, don't convert, but this achievement actually should uh, jumpstart you on your Dawnguard experience, so that's always good. Um, I have read a few uh, things so far that uh, a lot of people's um, activation was they did a poor job on activating the DLC but if yours is activated you head on over to Riften you can continue where you left off on your main account head over to Riften and once we get rid of this loading screen you're gonna walk in Riften uh, for me it was up to the bridge after I look around uh, you're gonna find someone's gonna pull your attention which is Durak, or Durak, whatever, and he's going to give you a quest for, wait for it, Dawnguard. So you're going to want to open your map, once I, there we go, Dawnguard started, open the map, and go where your little guide is, opposite of what I'm doing. Okay, right down there, alright, so just go somewhere close to it, right there on your trusted steed. Okay, and in this little cave is the new area. Take this little loading screen time to apologize for the quality. I'm working on it. I am getting a new TV soon, so eh, that's always fun. And there we go. We're in here. This is the new area. I'm liking it so far. It's very big, very roomy. You're going to do a lot of walking. got to walk to the Dawnguard Castle. But with the power of movie magic, we can flat, uh, phase there. Is the, I was going to say flash, but fuck it. I said phase. Who gives a shit? Okay, so you could climb the mountain, I guess. But I decided to take the long way. That's okay. You have time. We all have time. Look at us playing video games. Of course we have time. Video games are fun. Walk around. This is a really impressive castle. It's really big, too. That's the watchtower. I thought that was the stairs. Walk around. There, uh... Right about here. You get a pretty good view. Alright, so you're gonna walk up to here. This is the gate. That guy says some shit. Who cares about him? Open the gate to Fort Dongard. Two guys are gonna be... These two guys, they're gonna be talking... Uh, a little bit when you walk in, so you're just gonna wait for them. Talk to him a little bit, you know, and the other guy's gonna chime in too. Whatever they can talk all they want, it's fine. It's fine as long as we get an achievement, we're fine with that. You can talk forever. Answer whatever questions he has with, of course, questions. Which happens a lot in Skyrim for some reason. But once you're done talking to him, which will happen in a few seconds, three to about two one. Yeah. So once you're back outside, uh, he gives you he gives you the crossbow to fight the vampires, which is really cool. Uh, I suck with it, but that's okay. Uh, I suck at most things. Uh, it's just like uh, it's similar to the um, bow and arrow. If you suck with the bow and arrow, you're going to definitely suck with the crossbow. It's a little more complicated. Not complicated, but it's harder to aim with because. It's automatic. So you're going to want to go over here, fast travel. Um, Daedric Shrine might have not been the best place. Kill everybody who's standing against you. Between you and your achievement, you just, they're not good. So kill them all. Anyway, so, we're this is the cave. Once you clear all the bullshit enemies, you're gonna, let's see, it's uh, equipped our crossbow. There we go. Enter the cave, and it's 
Honestly, just a normal cave. Uh, not really different from the other 200 that they have in here. But uh, you're going to meet a new... Oh, yeah. Aurora Risper. Always good for caves. Aurora, I don't think I can say Aurora right. I feel like I'm saying it weird. Anyway. So they have a new little dog pet. Uh, the um, Death Hound, I think. Yes. The... Yeah, Death Hound. So, it looks pretty cool. It's a vampire dog. Kind of weird, but whatever. It's cool. And we're using the crossbow. Get shot in the face. Come here. Come here, motherfucker. Fucking. How dare you. I'm sucking the life out of me here. Fuck you. Fuck you. Take it. Oh. And, yeah. Apparently, uh, the crossbow uh, increases your archery. I don't see why it wouldn't, but I, it surprised me. I, would, I didn't expect it to increase anything, so... Kill all, the, all those enemies in the previous room. R open the gate. Run in here. Skeletons. Speed it up. You're gonna have to fight a bunch of these guys. Um, crossbow and me are just not adding up. I love it, but I'm not good with it, so... Maybe a little more practice will do me good. Oh, if you are... If you have a werewolf, then you can use the super deluxe werewolf skills. And I say skills to mash the left and right bumpers, or triggers, whatever. There's only a few of us that possess the necessary skills to be MLG at mashing the triggers, but if you can do it, then put your, uh, put it to, put it to good work. Let's go through, room to room to room, kill everybody. You cannot, you cannot feed here if you're a werewolf, which kind of sucks, but who gives a shit? You're looking for an achievement, you're not going to be... I won't be testing myself. Kind of fancy. This is the last vamp. This is like the leader vampire. Uh, he's not the last one you fight, but all right. So you're gonna go in this room. There's gonna be a scroll right here. Take that. I didn't have time to read it. I don't care what it says. But down there, there's a guy. There's a guy that uh, accompanies you. He dies. Kill all these vampires once they're dead. All right. So this this is the bridge. You walk across to this little place, and this is where you actually get the achievement. So. Push the button. Don't push any buttons. Alright, so you get stabbed in the wrist. Nice, you like it. Alright, good. P purple shit's up, and you gotta push, uh, to get the achievement, you gotta move these little tables, and I don't think there's a, speci a specific system to doing this. All I did is push them and wait until they catch fire, and the screen shakes a little bit. So I'll speed it up. Once all of them are in there, I will pause, 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 till all of them are... There we go. All of them are in there. You're going to walk back up to the button. And shit's going to go down. Oh, man. Those colors. Okay. You're going to open this box, I guess. And, yeah, you win a free lady. <laughs> uh, she's got an Elder Scroll on her back, apparently. So you talk to her. And once you're done talking to her, you get your achievement for awakening 20 Gs. Not that hard. Uh, that's it. So, uh, thanks for watching. Latest tips, tricks, and more. Log on to AchievementHunter.com. Uh, take care, guys, and good hunting.